Hello, we are going to talk about rational functions. Uh, so a common way to look at rational functions that are consisting of binomials could be in this format of a times x plus b equals c times x plus d. If we're dealing with rational functions such as this that are binomials, which we will be doing for right now, it's a great way to get used to these, you can look at a few things to figure out where the asymptotes are going to be. The asymptotes are lines that the function will draw close to, but never quite reach. So for example, if I've got a function Let's say I've got g of x is equal to x minus 4 over, uh, let's see, 2x plus 8. In order to determine where your vertical asymptotes are going to be, you can look at two things. First of all, the vertical asymptote is quite simple to find. What can you never divide by? Zero. What will make your denominator, which you are dividing by, equal to zero? Well, set it up. 2x plus 8 is equal to zero. 2x equals negative 8. x equals negative 4. Therefore, you know that when you reach negative 4, that you are going to have a vertical asymptote that it will never, the function will never touch. This is not part of the function. I will use a separate color. I'm using the red just to identify that is the, the no-go zone. Um, now, the horizontal asymptote, you're getting a hyperbola here. Uh, which is going to have, uh, I don't know, like that kind of shape. You will see it in one moment. It's a hyperbola shape, but I guess that's kind of circular reasoning. Uh, how do we get that? Look, it's going to be a horizontal line. How do you define a horizontal line? It's y equals something. So y is going to be equal to, well, imagine this. Imagine we're dealing with some huge numbers in here. Um, I'm talking huge, I'm talking like infinity. So if you've got infinity, let me rewrite it over here. Actually, let me bring that over here. If you've got infinity minus 4 over 2 times infinity, yes, you can do this, plus 8. In the scope of things, this minus 4 and this plus 8, when we're talking about infinity, those are so small, they're almost insignificant. So you can kind of think of this as being essentially infinity divided by 2 times infinity. And how you know, we can kind of treat that like this is a real variable, and we can effectively you know, cancel it out. Uh, you can think of this as like infinity over infinity times 1 over 2, or 1 half. You're left here basically with 1 half. So then we have y equal to 1 half. As this negative 4 and plus 8 is the, just the scope of the numbers, they're like nothing. When you're talking about trillions, Minus 4 and plus 8 are so small there, they're practically negligible. So, in order to find the horizontal asymptote, y is going to equal a over c. We're going to ignore the constants, B and D. We're only going to worry about A and C, because those are the things that are the coefficients of your variable. Again, these are, these are linear binomials. 
Um, we're not in, yeah, that's what we're going to focus on for right now. Um, also, how do I find my vertical asymptote? Well, if we're saying that Cx plus D has got to equal zero, just like we did right there, this means that Cx has got to equal negative D, X is going to equal negative D over C, which we can see that we've got right here. Uh, this is our D, this is our C. Basically, we're putting, if we divide both of these by 2, we've got negative D over C. So X is equal to negative D over C. Although, honestly, I don't know the formula is all that necessary. Just think about what makes that 0. I think that's a lot easier a way to, re to remember that. Um, for this one, you can think of what happens as these draw to infinity. What is that going to create my horizontal asymptote? So we've got, if this is 1, then 1 half would be about halfway there. And then very roughly, when we actually graph this guy out, it would look something like Something like that, where it, it, the hyperbola approaches of the graph approaches both asymptotes, the vertical and the horizontal, but it never quite reaches either one. So take a look at this, review, bring in any questions that you may have, and that is the basics of looking at asymptotes and rational functions. Have a great day.